y'all, we are at the finale of Mama June's From Not to Hot. This is episode number seven, and it's entitled Red Hot Mama. This is going to be Sugar Bear's wedding and Jennifer. Huh? I can't wait to see what is going to happen. Um, I don't really have any predictions because I don't know. From the previews, it looks like, you know, June's going to get kicked out of the wedding. But it, I wonder, like, if her mom's going to be there or her sister-in-law going to be Like, I want to know if they're going to be there and they're going to be causing trouble and if they're going to be on Jennifer's side. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. So let's get into the episode. So I'm real relaxed and comfy right now. You see, I got my hoodie on. I'm coming from Zumba. You know how I do every Friday. It's no different. So let's start off with um, the episode where Alana and Pumpkin are sitting downstairs eating breakfast. And it's three days before the wedding. And June still has no idea that she's disinvited. Out. So the girls are eating breakfast. A unhealthy one at that and june comes down and um you know she's all sad and so you know they ask what's wrong and she pretty much lets them know that john gave her a call which is the go-kart guy um called her at the photo shoot and told her that unfortunately he couldn't um cancel his business trip um so so he's not going to be able to come to the wedding with her so she's upset that she doesn't have a date so pumpkin is like looking at alana like you got to tell mama like right now so Alana ends up telling June, well, the good thing about it is that, you know, Jennifer has already disinvited you to the wedding anyway, so you don't have to come. And she also lets her know that if you're not going to be there, I don't want to be there either. Um, so June is upset because she's like, well, how long did y'all know this? And they pretty much tell her, we've known this prior to you getting your gobble removed and your bat wings removed. So June is just like, okay, you know what? I'm going back upstairs to bed. I'm not going to worry about this. So pretty much Alana says, you know, that she's going to have to contact Sugar Bear. And Sugar Bear, if he does not allow June to come to the wedding, then he's, she's going to let him know that she's not going to be in it. So cut into the next scene where Alana and Sugar Bear are at like a secondhand store. And they are looking for a gift, a wedding gift for Jennifer. I don't know what kind of gift that they were going to find in this store. But then again, I don't know their personal taste either. So, so Alana's walking around the store and she's all sulking and she's really not helping Sugar Bear pick out a gift. And so Sugar Bear is like, okay, so what is wrong with you? And she's like, you know what? You know, eventually she, he got it out of her. And she was just like, Jennifer just invited mom. I'm not going to come and be in the wedding if mom can't come. He pretty much was shocked. He didn't know that she was disinvited. Or whatever, because earlier when they first got into the store, you know, he was asking about June and just seeing how she was doing. And, you know, he pretty much let made it known that he didn't know that she was disinvited or whatever. Um, so she pretty much tells him, you know what, if, if, like I said, if mama can't come, I'm not going to come. So he told her, you know what, I'm going to handle it or whatever. So June comes and sees Alana laying on the couch and she's all sad. She's not talking, which is unlike Alana at all. Y'all know that girl talks. I love her to pieces. But you know, she talks and always got something to say. And she was just sulking. She was just, you know, laying down, covers over her head. So June, you know, asked her, like, you know, was asking her what is wrong. So she was just like, you know what, I got to make this right. So she ends up contacting um, Sugar Bear and talking to him. They have a nice civil conversation. And, you know, he lets her know, like, yeah, I didn't know that you were disinvited. But you know what? It's for Alana. I would love for her, to, you know, to be there for me. So if this is what's going to make Alana happy, then you can come to the wedding. So June is okay now with that. And she's going to let Alana know that she is now invited to the wedding. So after Sugar Bear gets off the phone with June, he walks into the living room. And Jennifer's like, well, what's wrong with you? So he lets her know, like... Alana's not going to be in the wedding if June is not invited. So why did you disinvite June? And she was just like, you know, she's not coming to the wedding. So Sugar Bear let her know, if Alana's not coming, there's no wedding. Uh-oh. <laughs> they agree that June can come to the wedding. And Jennifer's just like, you know what? She can come pretty much because she wants to get married. Um, and she was just like, but the only thing is that June will not be stepping foot in my house. So Sugar Bear was like, okay, that'll be fine. You know, we could do that. That I'll agree to that. So 
we see the girls getting ready for the wedding. It's the day of the wedding. We see them getting ready. June's getting her hair done. Pumpkin is coming out. Actually, Pumpkin, let me tell you what, girl. I got that same dress. <laughs> Straight from Old Navy, I got that same dress. And yes, it is roomy so that you can knock if you buck, okay? But they're getting dressed and ready. And they're just um, talking about, you know... Do 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 we think June is gonna fit in a dress? You know how we, they're just trying to get a feel for how she's gonna act or whatever. So uh, um so June goes and gets dressed, and she is putting on the the red dress, y'all. And so you know her sister and her niece are like, oh my god, is she gonna be able to fit this dress? And you know we can't wait to see what she's gonna look like. And so Pumpkin was like, oh yeah, y'all. By the way, I found Mom on a date. So she's like, let me run downstairs and go get him because he's here. Open the door and it's my man Kenya. I love freaking Kenya. So Kenya comes and you know he's a ball of positive energy. And so you know they yell for June to come down and June's at the top of the steps and she's in the red dress and she looks a freaking amazing. So she's coming down the steps and she you know um is talking to Kenya, you know, he's asking her questions like, are you ready for this? And she was just like, not really, but I don't have no choice. I'm doing it for Alana. You know, when I started this journey, pretty much it was for Sugar Bear. But now, you know, I'm doing it for me. And I'm so glad that that kind of clicked in her head. And now that was the best end result. That initially it started off one way and it ended off in a whole nother way and i'm glad that she decided to do it for her so you know she asked kenya um what are you doing here so he he lets her know you know what i heard that you don't have a date i'm gonna be that man for you especially if you're gonna need some help because the last time i saw y'all y'all was not on good terms so they go get alana and they get in the car and there's a tornado warning in the area it is w raining and wind so bad and so they're heading to McIntyre Georgia so you know June asks um Kenya are you ready for for McIntyre you know pretty much it's in West Bumblefuck okay he is in the middle of nowhere and so he's like you know what I'm ready for it let's go so they head on to um the wedding and um they're just in the car talking about, you know, are you ready to come back to this town? Because June hasn't been to the, in this town since she was over 400 pounds. And remind, remember, this is the town where her and Sugar Bear used to live with the girls. Also, that house that, um, or the trailer that, that Jennifer and Sugar Bear lives in now is the same one that June raised the girl when Alana was a baby as well. Um, you know, her mother is still there, even though they don't have a good relationship. Her sister-in-law is there, even though they don't have a good relationship. So, they get to the house and guess what in walks june and sugar bear is just like holy shit <laughs> so sugar bear eyes pretty much was popping out of his head when he seen june but we know sugar bear don't like the slender chicks he like the plus plus size fluffy ones so of course he's saying he's not interested in june anyway but <laughs> <laughs> but he's excited and happy that June has lost some weight, especially if it is for her health reasons. So, you know, it is what it is. But Sugar Bear, you know June look good. You know you was giving her the, the, the stare down, up and down. So, after Kenya and Pumpkin goes around back to let June and Sugar Bear and Alana have family time, Alana asks Sugar Bear, what do you think about Mama? How she looks? So he says, she, you know, she looks real nice. I'm glad that she, you know, is getting, had gotten, you know, small for her health. So on and so on. And so, you know, then June pro proceeds to tell Sugar Bear the reason why, you know, that she started to lose weight. And she attributed it to him saying, you know, at first it was all about you and how I wanted to get revenge. But then once that I started going through this process, I realized I was doing it for me and myself. And, you know, Sugar Bear was like, good. And she was just like, you know, I'm, not, I'm never going to go back to that, you know, 400 pound person again. And he was just like, good. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. So Alana lets them know. You know what? Y'all don't have to be best friends. I just want it to be not so awkward when y'all talk and be around each other. Just have a civil conversation with, with one another. And let's just, you know, go from there. And they agree that that's how it should be. So they, so Mike, a.k.a. Sugar Bear, goes and tells Alana, you know what? Go around back and check on the flowers. So he asked June, do you want to come in the house? So she was just like, sure. So she was like, you know, I haven't been here in a long time. 
So, you know, all right, that, that's fine. Well, lo and behold, who was snooping on the side of the house listening to the conversation? Jennifer's son. He calls Jennifer up and lets Jennifer know that June is inside the house. So, as they're in there talking, you know, they're just having a nice, civil, adult conversation. In walks, no, busts through the door is Jennifer asking June, what are you doing in my house? So she said, well, Sugar Bear invited me in or whatever. So she looks at Sugar Bear like, did you invite her in or whatever? So she was just like, well, look, I don't care who invited you in. I didn't invite you in, so you got to go. So, you know, June is trying to have a conversation with her, just saying, you know, we're just in here talking, you know, on the strength of, you know, Alana. And so Jennifer's like, well, I didn't want you here anyway. And, you know, she's just really jealous of June, and it shows really bad. Like, I don't understand why she just can't have a civil conversation. And she keeps, like, bringing up the past. But, I mean, Sugar Bear was cheating on June with you, so... Technically, I mean, and then she's acting like, you know what, you know, he don't want you no more. That's why he want me. And June is like, I don't want him. Like, they're just trying to be cordial for their daughter. And I like that about this whole change in what is going on and the shifting and, and, you know, everyone's attitude. Except for Jennifer. She's the only one being a bitch. I really wanted to be here for Jennifer. But, mm-mm. She's just so freaking rude so y'all we come back and june eventually leaves the house and so as she's walking around back into the tent um she opens the tent now mind you she hasn't seen these people in years so she opens the tent and everybody's looking like oh my god is that june oh my god i can't believe it well as she's walking down the aisle her mom her niece and her sister-in-law are giving her dirty looks. And the mom is like, oh, I wouldn't have did that to my body. And mm, who she thinks she is. And her hair, I wouldn't, her hair is ugly. You can see her roots. And just talking bad about the girl. Like, I want all these adults to, like, grow up. Like, ugh. You only get one family. And, and you know what? Sometimes the old stuff, you gotta just not forget it. But at least just forgive the person for their transgressions but i digress so june is sitting there and king is like so wait your mom and your sister-in-law are invited to your ex's wedding like he's 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 all confused and I, i'm just as confused as him so you know she she's trying to explain it and you know she was like you know what i haven't spoke to my mom in like three years and he was just like wow okay so the wedding is being delayed and nobody knows why. The pastor is, is, is sitting up at the front at the altar waiting for the wedding to start. And the wedding is being delayed because Jennifer and Sugar Bear are arguing about June being in her house. And Jennifer is just like, I don't know. She's just going off and ripping Sugar Bear. A whole new asshole, okay? And, she, you know, she's like, well, why'd you let her in? And Sugar Bear lies directly to Jennifer's face and says, I didn't let her in. You know, she, um... I went to the bathroom and then I came out and she was here. Boy, why is you lying? So, you know, Sugar Bear is just, is just trying to defuse the situation and tell Jennifer, look, okay, this is our day. It's about us. We're not worried about her, whatever. So then they ended up um, starting the wedding. And in comes Sugar Bear and Alana walking down the aisle. Alana's looking cute as always. And they go up and light the candle. <laughs> Alana... <laughs> can't get the lighter to work but you know so um she finally gets the candle lit and then in walks jennifer with her son now i thought jennifer was gonna have a wedding dress but i guess that is kind of better especially since the ground was wet and muddy and stuff so yeah and pumpkin shady ass going to sit there and talk about jennifer uh, she was like <laughs> she said jennifer had on some curtains <laughs> so the wedding begins and they're saying their vows and then it gets to the part where you may kiss your bride and that was one of the grossest that was the grossest kiss that i have ever saw in my entire life oh. <laughs> okay so the wedding is over and everybody's outside the tent and 
congratulating them or whatever. And so um, Kenya ends up walking to Sugar Bear and just telling him congratulations or whatever. And he happened to be standing next to June's mom. So June's mom is talking to Sugar Bear like, well, who is he? And so he, Sugar Bear lets June's mom know, oh, this is June's trainer. So she was like, her trainer? Mm. Well, I don't like what she did with her body or what, you know, she, so she's going back saying all this other stuff. And so, you know, the trainer was like, okay, well, I understand or whatever, you know, she, you know, it is what it is. And so they end up leaving the wedding or whatever. Um, and of course, Jennifer is excited about it. And she's like, good, I'm glad she's gone. <sighs> that Jennifer. I'm still stuck on that kiss. Yeah. So they end up going to the woods and you know June has them at like a campsite and they're wondering why they're there they're scared you know thinking that it's not secure but June reassures them that it is a secure site so she ends up letting them know you know what I'm here because I want to get rid of the old June and I want to start over with the new June so she has a bag of her old clothes and so you know she takes out this one shirt and she's like look this is a 4x like I can fit half my body in here or whatever and you know we're gonna get rid of it so she throws it away in the um the fire so each individual they pick out an item of clothes of course Alana would pick out the granny panties right <laughs> So she flings it in the fire like it's a like it's a a, sh a slingshot or whatever. She flings it in there or whatever, and you know <clears throat> they end up making like roasted marshmallows. And of course June, because she's trying to live a, he a healthy lifestyle, she declines you know the marshmallows and she lets them know, hey, y'all better get used to this because soon y'all are about to be on a healthy lifestyle and kick too. And pretty much you know they all explain to June how proud they are, especially Big Mike. He lets her know, you know, I'm proud of you. All that you had to go through, your liquid diet and all your surgeries and all your pain and aching and suffering. Like, I'm really proud of you. Well, they the next day they get home and June is in excruciating pain. She is bent over, she can't move. She said that the pain is worse than any of all her surgeries. So she has no idea what's going on with her. She did say that she was hurting the night before, but she didn't want to go to the hospital. And the doctor, her surgeon told her that she may need to go to the hospital because it could be something serious. So, um, Pumpkin ends up calling June's bodyguard and, um, he comes, you know, he, he he comes rushing over and, you know, make sure that June is okay. He gets ready to, to take her to the hospital. And he's like, you know what? If you go down one more time, I got to call 911. June goes down. So he has to end up calling 911. That's where the show pretty much ends. Like, even though that this was the finale, next week we're actually getting two episodes starting off at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's going to just pretty much just show the behind the scenes and it's going to show us what happened with June after she went to the hospital that night after she had her pain in her stomach. Also, we get to see June, Jennifer, and Sugar Bear like showdown. Like they're going to go at it. It's called the confrontation. So I can't wait to see this because I am so ready to see how Jennifer is going to, I already know how she's going to act, but it's just, ugh. I don't know. So we shall see next week what actually happened to June. Of course she's okay, but I'm dying to know what happened. So thank you all for watching my review on Mama June's from Not So Hot. Again, this is episode number seven. It was the finale called uh, Red Hot Mama. <laughs> I like saying that for some reason. But I'll be back next week to do a review on, I guess like that would be considered like their reunion show. They're going to have Judge Tauver on there. So she's going to be a good like middle person to be able to go back and forth through them. Because if you don't recall, she was on, um, what was it? Celebrity boot camp. I mean, celebrity reality star boot camp or something like that when they were in the house together sugar bear and june so so she knows what happened and she kind of knows them so so she is a great person to be able to settle this dispute so i will see you next week thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and watch some of my other videos the links for those will be in the description below and i hope you have a good day bye